good evening. Guys. How are good you? evening. Yeah, I good should say evening. bonjour, shouldn't I, given your disposition in this oh, film, your, yes. your golfing yeah. character. <laughs> uh, congratulations on the film. It's, oh, it's wonderful. Uh, when did you first come across Morris's story and what compelled you to want to write his story for a film? Um, well, I, I first heard it, I grew up around golf. Like My dad was a greenkeeper and so I was cursed with being around golf all my life. <laughs> and um, uh, as my wife will attest, um, it is a curse more than a blessing. But uh, it's such a great story. I heard about it as a junior, but I just knew the bare bones, you know, of what, what happened. And then as I got older, I go, what happened to that guy, you know? And what? I remember that story and no one really talks about it. And it was just really nice with Scott Murray, a friend of mine, we wrote the book to really breathe life into that story that, that no one really knows about. That's the thing, no one, it's not like Eddie the Eagle, no one's really heard of Morris, but it is a great story. Till now, yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. And in, uh, in terms of the, your sensibilities as a writer and Craig as a director, it's a real great synergy. Was he the perfect person to kind of bring this to life? Yeah, I, I, I didn't really know Craig, um, but I went to see his film at the London Film Festival, Eternal Beauty, and uh, it was really beautiful film, well shot and really funny, and had sort of moments like flights of fantasy that were unusual and dream sequences that were incredible. And he just seemed perfect, and he's really funny. Like I enjoy chatting with him, and we have a laugh, and um, that's half the battle, you know. And I feel like with Mark in the lead role, even though he's played the BFG, he's been in films with Tom Hanks and Steven Spielberg, I feel like this is the perfect fit for him. Yeah. Is it, did you think that as well when he was cast or when you were thinking about it? I, I, Craig was the first to mention it um, when we had a, our first lunch and I just went, that would be incredible. Like, I, for some reason, it, he has a look of him, uh, he has a sort of vulnerability, but also a, a lot of strength and sort of no bullshit about him and, he, and I've seen him be really funny and so he was perfect yeah in terms of obviously to bring it to the festival you get to show it to an audience you may put it had to put it to streaming before but how important is it for you and for all of you guys to put it on the big screen and have a community watch the oh, film together amazing. I mean amazing you know that was my worry we filmed it under lockdown and I thought is this just gonna go out on a streamer and so to be here tonight I think there's 2,000 odd people in so it's going to be a real joy just to hear the reaction and uh, hopefully a bit of laughter and maybe some tears. Who knows? Do you hear tears? No. Did you well up? Great. Great. Good. Thanks so much for your time. Pleasure. Take care.